Hey, welcome to the video. Today's video is the turkey burn. Um, so I've got a 90 minute ish flow for you guys planned today. Um, all about burning those calories, getting ready for the turkey. Um, 90 minutes is a long time, I know. Um, typically when I do 90 minute classes, I upload two. So there's a 60 minute and a 90 version. Um, this flow is not gonna allow me to do that. However, um, if you, I'm, I'm shooting to be about um, an hour to an hour 10 of hard stuff and then the 20 minutes of cool down. So if you do know to you that you can't commit to a whole 90 minutes, just know that 60 to 70 minutes is the effort that we're shooting for um, and then the rest will be cooled down. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to message. Um, but the Turkey Burn playlist I've linked in the description below, it's a old yoga house playlist that I used to, I made like two or three changes to um, and we're just gonna have a good time today. Um, so this class is kind of designed around the idea or later on in class. Um, I took a class one time and she called it a turkey. I don't really think it's called turkey pose, but essentially it's a handstand like this. Um, and I know handstands are out of range for many of us, um, but we're going to kind of be playing with that a little bit towards the end of class. Um, so buckle your seatbelts, hands in the air. Let's have a good time. Um, we will start lying on our now we'll start on knees. So knees, uh, knees on the floor, comfortable seat on the knees if you can. Um, of course, again, the playlist is linked in the description below. If you're starting that with me, we're going to start in three, two, and one. Cool. So as that gets going, just allow the hands to fall wherever they lie. Doesn't matter which way. They can face up, down, left, right. Doesn't matter. You might wiggle around and get even on the sit bones or on the knees. Close eyes if you feel comfortable to do so. Seal the lips and just start to breathe. Inhales, exhales through the nose. And start to elongate the breath. And taking a moment here to pull inwards to maybe reflect on the day or the practice you have ahead of you. And just know this practice is designed solely for yourself. Um, there's gonna be some hard stuff thrown at you. I'm not expecting you to do any of it or all of it. I'm just expecting you to give an honest effort, um, whatever that means to you. If you want to take this time, set an intention for your class, please do so now. When you're ready, gently blink open the eyes. Clasp the hands together, doesn't matter which finger is on top. I want you to flip the palms forward. On the inhale breath, take the arms up to the sky, gaze can follow. And then exhale, cactus the arms as you release, squeeze the shoulders behind you, and then we'll finish hands come heart center. And two more times, clasp the hands, flip them forward. Inhale breath, takes the arms up, gaze can follow. And then exhale, release, bend the elbows outwards, finish with those hands, come heart center. Last one, interlace, grip, flip the palms, take it up to the inhale, breath. And then exhale, we bend the elbows, listen close. This time we're going to tuck the fingertips behind us. Lean back to do so. From there, squeeze the shoulders, lift the chest. Head can go back as well if you'd like. Stretch out the neck, but only if the neck says it's okay. We're here for five. And four. And three. And two traditional child's pose, hands can stay where they are, just fold over the legs. And for it, eventually rest on the floor. If it doesn't make it, you can stack the palms or the fists. It's okay. From here on the next inhale breath, we'll come to stand on the knees. So you'll gaze forward, lift the arms overhead as you rise to stand on the knees. Inhale. And then right back where we were, arms go back, you bow, exhale. And two more of these, inhale breath, bring it up, arms go high. And then exhale, bring it back down to that traditional child's pose. Good. Last one. Inhale, breath. Take the arms overhead. Stay here. And then hands come to the back jean pockets. A gentle camel pose. Keyword gentle. It's the first three, four seconds into class. It doesn't have to be crazy. I'm really here for the shoulders. So again, peel the elbows behind you or squeeze them behind you. Press hips forward. And gaze can lift if you'd like. Get there for five. Good. Four. And three. And two, go ahead and sit down on the heels. And clasp the hands together, flip the palms, just take them overhead so no back bend. And then I want you to think of this as a kind of cat and cow. Can you send the rib, rib cage from forward, back, side to side, taking big circles? Um, nothing crazy, just getting into the spine, seeing how it feels in a little bit of a different way. Because again, this is the turkey burn. So we're going to burn some things. Everything's going to suck a little bit today, but we're in this together. Good, switch directions whatever way you're not going. So again, that rib cage pops forward. It goes back, your hands will do the opposite and just taking it some spinal rotations. 
Good. Release the hands. Shift the hips over to either side. Swing the legs forward just a moment, and we'll find a gentle seat. So cross ankles over ankles. Uh, half a lotus, if you really want to get there, doesn't make a difference. Once you've got the legs, inhale breath, take the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, your right hand falls as you side bend over to the right. And forearm might start to reach towards the floor, but don't collapse in that right side. Still find a lift in the right armpit. And maybe take the gaze past the left shoulder. We're here for five. And for four. And three. And two, back center, inhale breath, takes both arms up to the sky. And then second side, left hand falls, maybe the forearm as you start to side bend towards the left. Engage past that right bicep if you'd like. Three for five. Good, four. And three. And two, inhale, arms up to the sky. And then take the hands to knees, think of this as a cat pose, so arch the spine. I'm using the hands really to pull, try to find straight-ish arms. My arms are really long, so I bend a little bit, but you're Curving the spine backwards, see if you can spread at the shoulders behind you here for five, four, three, and two, sit back up. Left hand goes behind you, right hand outside, left thigh, gentle twist to the left. And of course, gaze can go over that shoulder or not. And so sides, right hand behind you, left hand to the right knee. Maybe gaze to right shoulder, your choice. Good, come back center and keep the legs as they are. Just start to crawl the body forward. Think of this as a forward fold, but with different legs. Um, you're just trying to fold as low as you can. Does not have to be crazy. Again, we're very early in the class. I'm taking this to tabletop. If you're super forward and it's comfortable, you might start to shift forward to the knees or come up and then shift to hands and knees, your choice. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. From there, can you send the right leg back, tuck the toes on the floor, and then just try to pull. So you're driving that heel back, so you can get a little bit of a light stretch into that right calf muscle. Um, it might not be anything crazy, or it could be a lot, depending on how much time you run or spend time on the feet or wear heels, all different things that can alter uh, the length of your calves. Okay, keep the right foot where it is. It's a down dog, you'll lift the hips. And then just reach that left leg up to the sky. I know it's early in the down dog, but just finding that three leg down dog that is. We're here for five. And allow the chest to melt a little deeper for four. And for three. And two, deep inhale breath, stay here. Exhale, to knee to nose, shift forward. Try to kick the butt with the left foot as you do. Good, three leg down dog, inhale breath, take it up. Four more of those, exhale breath, knee to nose, really work that core. Inhale breath up. And three more. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring it in. Good. Inhale up. And two more. Exhale. Inhale. And then last one. Exhale. Breath will stay there. Don't hold your breath. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two. Drop the knee to the floor. And tabletop. Right knee joins. Second side, your left foot steps behind you, tuck the toes, and for this one, we just start to pulse. Um, so again, I'm driving the left knee back, or left heel back, left knee is lifted. Good, three leg down dog, left leg stays, you just take that right leg up to the sky, hold that stretch, five. Good, drive the left heel down for four. And for three. Two, inhale, stay here. Exhale, knee to nose, activate that belly, try to pull the knee to the forehead. And three leg down dog, inhale, breath. That's one of five total. So knee to nose is four. Good, inhale back for three. Well, that was two. And exhale, bring it in for three. Good, inhale. And two more, exhale, bring it in. Good, inhale back. And then the last one, exhale, bring it in. Still breathe, hold it for five, four. And three, and two, high plank, step it back, and then just slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Good. We'll take this to locust pose, which I almost never do because I don't like it that much, to be honest. Um, but you're going to reach your arms forward like train tracks. Palms face one another. Legs zip up like a zipper. Strong inhale, breath, lift everything up. Hands and feet will rise like you're Superman flying through the sky, but you're still in the belly because you know you can't fly. We're here for five. Mm, hold it for four. 
Can you squeeze the butt, lift the legs higher? Three. And two, airplane wings, arms go back, you lift a little higher, it's easier, hold it, five. And for four. And three. And two, release, look to your right side, come back to the breath. So that left ear will find the floor, unless you have AirPods in your ears like I do, uh, then <laughs> I can just keep the chin on the mat. Um, so if your neck is uh, not feeling it, you can always keep the chin on the mat, it's not the best for the neck either, um, but again, I have AirPods in, so I can't really look to the right. Good, second side, then we'll take it here, we'll move on. So arms go forward, same thing, legs zip up like a zipper. Strong inhale breath, go for length first, so reach as far as you can, then go for the height for five. Keep this for four, and for three, and two. This time, can you cactus the arms, pull the elbows back, and hands lift higher than the elbows if you can, five, and four, and three. Two, hands next to rib cage, cobra of your height, as high or as low as you need to make it. You might sway side to side here. I kind of like to, I call it swimming the shoulders. Um, if the back feels this, okay. When you're ready, child's pose, big toes touch, knees wide, and sit it all the way back to the heels. And forehead rest on the mat, knees as wide as you can. And then two options. You stay here in this child's pose a little bit more. If you want to add some length, we walk the hands over to the right side. Maybe off the mat, maybe that left hand stacks on top of the right. And if you're taking that choice, feel the left side start to grow, the space in between the ribs, that is. Send the breath into those spaces. Good. And the same thing, take it all the way over to the left if you took that variation. Opposite hand, so your right hand might stack on the left, everything else the same. Good, walk it back center. And tabletop hands and knees. And then your first down dog, full down dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips. Take some time, shake it out, walk it out if you need to. Um, legs should be kind of warm already, but if you want to walk it out, the offer's yours. Good, keep the right, Lara, keep the down dog. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. And then low lunge, excellent to nose, step it between the hands. We'll drop the back knee down to the floor and keep the hands down for now. Um, you might start to kind of pulse forward if that feels okay. Um, what I like to do if I'm freeing the hands, sometimes I like to take my right index and middle finger around the right big toe, um, the knees in towards my armpit. And then I use that to try to pull my right hip or the crotch, for lack of better words, closer to that right heel. And stay here or take the hands onto the front knee or arms to the sky, your low lunge, your choice. So again, it's early into class. If you wanna go arms to the sky, you can. Um, I'm not, I have my right hand on my right knee and my left hand on my left hip, kind of pushing that both forward. We're here for five. Your low lunge for four. And for three. And two, take the hands to floor. You'll lift the back knee, straighten both legs. Don't worry about the back heel. It doesn't have to be perfect here, just finding a little bit of length. Good, bend both knees, that back knee's gonna hover, and then shift it back, two more of these. Good, bend both knees, back knee to hover, and then shift it back, straighten legs. And step forward, hip width distance, so almost two fists <laughs> fit between the feet. From there, deeper bend of knees, start to roll up the spine, piece by piece, see if the head and neck can be the last thing that comes up. Once you arrive, the arms will follow. Inhale, arms go up. And then clasp the hands behind the back. Take your right thumb on top. And chase the floor, lift the chest, inhale. And then bend the knees, exhale, fold it down. The hands can stay low back or reach them overhead. Your choice, whatever the hands need to do is the correct thing. Uh, but really try to broaden the collarbones. See if you can relax them as you stretch. Five. And four. And three. Two, it's zombie chair, bend the knees, reach the arms forward like zombie arms. So the hips are trying to be about in line with the knees, hands go forward, all the things. We're here for five. And for four. And three. And two, forward fold, hands down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length of the spine. And plant hands, high plank, step it back, hold in the high plank. 
And so we're holding the high plank for a little bit of fun. You can stay here or start to point the right toes, hover. And then we're gonna just pulse that a couple times for a 10, and for a nine, and for eight, and for a seven, and for a six, left leg even stronger, five, and for a four, and for a three, and for a two, and drop the foot, shift forward high into the toes, and then vinyasa. And bend the elbows halfway to low plank. Inhale the upward facing dog, chest high, toes flat. When you're ready, down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips high. Inhale your left leg up. Low lunge, knee to nose, step it through. Drop that back into the floor. And again, hands will stay on the floor for now. Maybe a little bit of a pulse. And if you're taking my variation, again, left index and middle finger will hook around your left big toe. The knee stays in towards the armpit, but you use that to kind of pull that left thigh, bottom of left thigh, close to your left heel. Good. Stay here. Take the hands to the front knee or the sky. Your choice, your low lunge. So again, hands can go up. My left hand is going to my left knee. Right hand about the back of my right cell phone pocket, pressing both of those things forward. Five. And for four. And three. And two, hands to floor. And back knee lifts, you'll straighten both legs. Again, don't worry about that back heel. We're warming up. Good, bend both knees, back knee to hover. And then shift it back, straighten the legs. Good, bend both knees, back knee hovers. And then shift it back. I don't know if that was two or three. We'll do one more just for fun. Bend both knees, shift forward. And then shift it back, final time. Good, forward fold, hip width distance at the top so the two fists can fit between the feet. When you ride, bend the knees, roll up the spine piece by piece, head, neck, lasting up. When you ride, the arms follow, inhale. And then clasp the hands behind you, take the left thumb on top. And chase the floor, lift the chest, inhale, breath. And then humble warrior, not humble warrior, but just bend the knees, exhale, fold. And again, broaden the collarbones, fists reach actively to the sky, unless you have them on the low back. Five. Good, four, and three, and two, zombie chair, bend the knees, swing the arms forward, weight in the heels, and belly strong, five, and four, and three, and two, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, find length of your spine. Plant hands, high plank, step it back, and again, your choice to stay in the high plank, or we add the pulse, so I'm gonna lift my left foot, Point the toes and then just pulse it up and down and for a 10, a 9, 8, and 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, and 2. Drop the foot, shift forward high on the toes, and then low plank exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, chest high, toes flat. When you're ready, down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips. <sighs> and sun citation A. On the inhale breath, rise high to the toes, look forward. And then exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length through the spine. Exhale, fold, bring it down. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms all the way overhead. And forward fold, exhale to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten. And plant hands, vinyasa. Step or hop, high to low plank, your exhale. And your own inhale takes you upward facing dog. And your own exhale to down dog. And always, of course, to skip modify as we go through these. Um, we're going to do two more and then we'll move on. On the ready, on the inhale, uh, when you're ready, <laughs> on the inhale, uh, talking, wow. Inhale, right side of the toes, look forward. <laughs> and then exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward, forward fold. When you arrive, inhale, halfway lift, find length through spine. Exhale, fold, release. Good, bend the knees, rise all the way up to stand, inhale. And forward fold, back to the floor, exhale. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length. 
I'm playing hands vinyasa, your choice, high to low plank or your route. I'll meet you there. One more. On the inhale, breath rise, high to the toes, look forward. And then exhale, bend the knees, step or hop, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length through your spine. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms all the way overhead. And then forward fold, bring it back down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length through your spine. And plant hands, step or hop, vinyasa, your choice. So these rounds, um, first chunk is gonna start with a switch step. And by a switch step, I mean, I'm gonna take the right leg up on the inhale breath, and then I'm gonna hop my left foot forward to a crescent lunge. Um, so if that hopping is not in your cards for today, just find an opposite foot forward crescent lunge. So if I say the right leg goes up, your left foot will step forward, um, but we'll do it together. So gaze in between your index fingernails and take the right leg up to the sky. On the exhale breath, you'll hop the left foot from point A to the top of the mat, the right foot lands behind you. Once you're there, crescent lunge, take the arms up to the sky. And if you didn't get it, if it's a little funky, don't worry. We've got many, many more. And from the crescent lunge, inhale, breath, just reach a little higher. Exhale, airplane wings, can you bow the body halfway forward? Good, crescent lunge, take both arms overhead, inhale. And then two more, exhale, bow, belly strong. Good, inhale, breath, take it up. And then last one, exhale, take it down. Good, from there, stork pose, big jump, take the right leg up to the sky. And then from here, we'll have five shroom squats. Take this as low as you can, but the right knee is gonna tuck behind the left, lean forward, bend the left knee, try to tap that knee to the ankle or as low as you can. Bring it back up, that's one of five, go low. And if my speed isn't working, go at your own pace, but that's two, bring it up. Go low for three, up for three, low for two. Up for two. Last one, go low. We'll stay at the bottom. Listen for the change. You're there for five, four, and three, and two. Hands down, right foot steps back, and then the right knee drops. Half split, straighten this left leg, and then fold over it. So your left leg is forward in that half split. As so you just fold. Good, we have the twist. Your right hand stays about under the shoulder and take that left arm to the sky. And you might need to adjust the legs here, that's totally cool. Good, now really play weight into that right hand. It's a modified side plank. This left foot is just gonna step back. Left foot can land or hover, your choice. This is level one of our variation, we're here for five. Good, your side plank for four. For three. And two, drop the left hand. And tuck your right toes, lift the knee, three-legged down dog. And again, you're hopping off the right foot, but the right foot lands forward, crescent lunge. So inhale, breath high in the toes, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, hop right foot forward, and crescent lunge. And back toes tuck, you lift the arms. And keep the legs, inhale, breath, reach a little higher. And then exhale, airplane wings, bow the body, turn the belly on as you do. Good, crescent lunge, arms go up, inhale. And two more, exhale, airplane to bow. Good, inhale, arms up. Last one, exhale to bow. Last one to stork. So left knee comes up to the sky, stork pose. And then five shrimp squats, go as low as you think you need to go. So left knee as close to right ankle as you can. Ugh. Bring it up, right leg's my bad one. That's one. We go low for two. Up for two. Good, go low for three. Up for three, low for four, up for four. And then last one, you go low, stay low at the bottom. Five, four, and three, and two, drop the hands, step back, drop your left knee, and then half splits, right leg will straighten, you'll hold over the leg. Add the twist, left hand stays, right arm overhead. And keep the arms modified side plank, left knee stays down, 
right foot steps back in line or you lift it up right away, you get to choose. We're there for five. Good, hold it four. And three, two, drop the right hand, drop the right foot, high plank, left foot steps back. And take about a hip width distance or maybe wider. And then option to stay here, we go a little fun, drop your right forearm down to the floor, left forearm down, right hand, left hand, left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand. And two more, right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand, left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand, shift forward high on the toes, and then vinyasa from there, skip it or not, your choice. Good, finding that switch step, your right leg goes forward up to the sky. So right leg to the sky, left foot steps forward and crescent lunge. If you wanna plan a handstand range, try to find it first. You're more than welcome to that left foot forward, crescent lunge in five. In four, in three, in two, from the crescent lunge, grow long. And then airplane wings, bow halfway forward, hold there. Stay or out of the right arm, maybe both arms forward, you choose, you're there for five. Good, hold it, four, in three, and two, airplane arms back. And then stork pose, big jump, that right leg lifts. Good, F four, shrimp squats, so the right knee is close. To the left ankle as you can, go low, bring it up, go low, bring it up. Two more, we go low, and bring it up. Last one, go low, stay low, hold it at five, four, three, two, step back, drop the knee, half splits. Left leg will straighten, and you fold over the left thigh. And find the twist, right hand stays, left arm goes up. Good, same option. So plane to the right hand, find that side plank, left leg hovers. Now option one is to stay here. Option two, we drop the left foot, falling star, right leg kicks forward, we hold. You're in the falling star. We'll hold it for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, right leg to the sky, three leg down dog, look forward. It's that switch step, your left foot lands forward in the crescent lunge. If you want to handstand it first, you're more than welcome to. Step or hop it, crescent lunge, left arm high. Once you arrive, inhale, breath, retire. Exhale, airplane wings, bow, halfway hold. Stay or out the right arm, maybe both arms hold it for five. Oh, we're on the wrong leg for four. <laughs> for three. And two, airplane arms go back, listen close. Right leg high, stork pose. So we're on the wrong leg, but that's okay. From here, just stay or straighten the right leg, hold it for five. Squeeze it for four. And three. And two, warrior three, right leg flies back, and body comes parallel. And belly stronger, hold this for five. Good, keep it four. And three. And two, hands to floor, standing splits, that right leg goes high. Press into the floor, hold it for five. Now we are gonna go through a vinyasa from here. Two options. You can try to hop it up to a handstand or just hop or step that left foot from point A to point B as in front of the mat to the back. When you're ready, straight arms, lift the chest, halfway lift, and then your choice, try to handstand it or just step or hop it back. The vinyasa. How to low plank, I'll meet you down dog. Good. <laughs> what that second side. So your left leg is going to go up to the sky. Your right foot steps forward, crescent lunge, or it hops forward. Hand stands it forward. Your choice. Right leg forward for five. In that crescent lunge for four. And for three. Two, inhale, breath, go long. And then exhale, airplane wings, bow the body halfway forward. Good. Stay or add that left arm, maybe both arms forward, hold it five. And keep it four. And for three. And two, airplane arms back. And then stork pose, big jump, left thigh lifts. Good, we've got four shrimp squats. Left knee as close to the right ankle as you can. Go low, bring it up for four. Good, go low for three. Up for three. Good, we go low for two. Up for two. And then last one, go low, stay low at the bottom, hold it five, four, three two, step back, half split. So you will drop that left knee, 
straighten the right leg and fold over that right leg. Good, add the twist, left hand stays, right arm up to the sky. And then when you're ready, modified side plank, right leg flies back to hover or drop that foot, left leg goes forward, falling star. So left leg forward, falling star can land or hover five. Hold there for four. And three, and two, drop the hand, three leg down dog, left leg up. That same switch step, right foot lands forward in the crescent lunge. You'll tuck the toes, lift the arms overhead. Stay there. Inhale to reach. Exhale, airplane wings, bow halfway forward, hold. Stay or out of the right arm, left arm, your choice. Five, and four, and three, and two, airplane. And to stork pose, left knee comes up to the sky. This time, stay or straighten that left leg, hold it for five, and keep it for four, and three, and two, warrior three, left leg flies back, arms go back or forward, keep stable in that right thigh. And standing splits, drop the hands, lift your left leg. An option to turn that left leg out a little bit if you need to. And again, we vinyasa from here, step, hop, float, hand stand it. If you'd like it, go for it. I'll meet you down, dog. <sighs> cool, so we'll do that small sequence one more time. I know I kind of jacked that one up, but you didn't know, so it's fine. <laughs> Just listen close, you'll be okay. So finding the switch step, our right leg is gonna go up to the sky. Your left foot will land forward in a crescent lunge. If you want a handstand, by all means, your choice. I'll meet you crescent lunge, left foot forward, go now. And from the crescent lunge, the arms go up, inhale breath. And then exhale, airplane wings, bow halfway, hold. Stay or add the right arm, maybe both arms forward, hold it five. Good, keep it four. And for three, and two, airplane. And to stork pose, the right knee comes up to the sky. Good, just three this time. Your right knee is close to left ankle as you can. Shrimp squat, and bring it up, that's one. Good, we go low, and bring it up, that's two. And then last one, go low, stay low at the bottom, hold it five, four, three, two, half splits. Right knee drops, left leg straightens. You fold over that leg. Now this one's going to get a little tricky. Um, I'd like to have you follow me, but if you need to modify, you're on your own. But it's that same half splits or falling star. Right hand stays, left arm to the sky, add the twist. And then modified side plank, left leg flies back for down. Stay here, drop the foot, falling star to land, or your challenge is to hover. Now, can you start to send that right ankle just in front of the left cross? And then bring it back forward, left hand touches the foot. That's one of 10 we're gonna do, because why not? So go long, and you can also do this with a knee, that's two. Go long, three, go long, four, long, five, long, six, seven, eight. Whew, welcome to the turkey burn, nine, and the last one, 10. Bring that right knee to chest, You'll drop the left hand, take it to the wild thing. So right foot steps behind the hips. You lift the hips up to the sky. And grow long through the torso, hold it five. Hold it four. And three. And two, it's three leg down dog. Your right leg comes up. No switch step, just step that right foot forward. Warrior two. And back heel spins, you open. So a little bit of a change there. But we're here. Right leg forward, warrior two if you lost it. And keep the legs from palm flips, reverse the warrior. And extend the side angle, take it forward as low as you'd like. Hand to floor, maybe elbow to thigh, but that one line from the left heel, left fingertips. And find length in that left side ribcage. And to stay or your challenge, right arm can go forward. It's a choice, you're there for five. Hold it four. And three, and two, reverse the triangle, straighten the leg, high five the back wall. Good, a runner's lunge, windmill the hands, frame the front foot. Your left foot's gonna take a half step in, straighten both legs, pyramid. Feel that right hip move back, 
left hip forward, fold over the thigh. Good, this next part's gonna be a little weird. Inhale, halfway lift. Shift forward, tent the fingertips, and then lift your left leg only halfway. So think of almost like a warrior three. I want you to flex the left foot, turn all five toes to the left, and then bend the knee, high five your right side with that left foot. Once you got it, you're trying to open, so take that left knee as high as you can, as long as the hips and your bottom right knee feels okay. And we're here for five. And if you want, yeah, we'll just stay here. Now I have tented fingertips. If you plant the hands, that works as well. We're here for five. Good, four. And three, two, it's knee to nose. Can you bend the right knee as well? Bring both knees in towards the forehead crunch and then back where you were, open it out, extend. That's one of five that we're doing. So go in, both knees bend, knees towards the forehead. Extend it for uh, two <laughs> and bring it in and extend. Last two, bring it in and extend. Last one, bring it in, hold, look forward, it's stork pose. That left thigh comes up. Oh, God. Once you're there, stare straight in that left leg, hold it five. And four. And three. And two, mountain pose, heels, toes, touch. Hands heart. Gorgeous. Inhale, arms to the sky. And forward fold, exhale, brings you down to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, pine length of the spine. And then your cho choice, <laughs> crow pose. Or vinyasa. So plant the hands, knees to triceps, arm balance, or skip it. If you've got the arm balance, it's for five. For four. And for three. And two, step or hop. Ah, oh, vinyasa. <laughs> this song. <laughs> Todd, your call. It's called Nails, Hills, Na Nails, Hair, Hips, Heels. It's a very gay song. And Part of my culture so here we are cool so we'll do that second side fire starting with that switch step so your left leg goes up but your right foot lands in the crescent lunge if you want to go for that handstand by all means but again right foot forward in the crescent lunge go now and once you find that crescent lunge arms go up inhale breath and then exhale airplane wings bow halfway hold stay out of the right arm maybe both arms forward you choose five Good. Keep it four. And three. And two. Airplane wings. And to stork pose. Big jump. Left leg up. And then your last three shrimp squats. You're welcome. Three. Go low. Ah, bring it up. And two more. We go low. And then last one. We go low. We stay low at the bottom. Hold it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Step back. Drop knee. Half splits. Right leg straightens. You fold. Cool. Good. Plant that left hand, lift the right arm. When you're ready, modified side plank, that right leg flies back. Good. Stay here or drop that right foot. Falling star, left leg kicks forward. And if you're going for the turkey burn challenge, we lift the left leg up. Hover it back towards the left heel, so cross it over the right ankle, that is, right arm forward. And then left knee comes forward or left foot, right hand to foot. That's one of ten. Extend. Two, extend, three, extend, four, extend, five, keep with me, I know. We've got six, and seven, and eight, nine, last one, ten, left knee to chest, you'll drop the right hand, falling star, a wild, wild thing, wild thing, so left foot, left foot. Steps behind the hips. You lift the hips. I was going to do that in every round, and you're welcome that I did not. We're here for five. Good. Four. And three. And two. Three leg down dog. Drop the hand. Lift your left leg. And then warrior two. Need to know. Step it through. And back heel spins. Open arms to the right. So again, your left leg forward and a warrior two if you somehow lost that. And keep the legs from palm flips reverse. Next extended side angle, take it forward, forward, forward. Your choice, elbow thigh, hand to floor. Again, your emphasis here is on the right side. See if you can find as much length there. Stay here, add that left arm forward if you'd like, two, five. Four, and keep with me, three. 
And two, reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five. Good, runner's lunge, windmill hands, frame the front foot. Right foot takes a half step in, straighten legs, fold. Good. We go for that weird shit, <laughs> for lack of better words. Inhale, halfway lift. Shift forward, tent the fingertips on the floor. Lift your right leg about halfway. Flex the right foot, turn all 10 toes to the right, and then bend the knee, high five your left wall with that foot. From there, then he goes higher. You feel that hip opener, feel that left leg straight, but do not lock your bottom left knee. Five, four, and three, two, bend both knees. That right knee comes in to meet the left knees towards the forehead. Extend it out, that's one of five. Good, bring it in, extend it out. Exhale, we bring it in, inhale out, that's three. Two more, bring it in, and out. Last one, bring it in, gaze forward, stork pose, bring it up. Right knee comes up, good, stay or straighten that right leg, hold it five, and four, and three, and two, heels, toes, touch, hands, heart. When you're ready, take the arms overhead. And forward fold, exhale, bring it down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length. Vinyasa or crow pose. Again, it's a longer crow pose, so plant the hands and knees to triceps. If you've got it with me, we're there for 10. Five. Four. And for three. And two. Vinyasa step or hop. This is also a great time for a water break. I need to go get water because my throat is very dry. Um, so if you need it, you have permission, grab that water. We're back shortly. I'm also choosing to turn my music up. So like no pressure there, but if you want to join me on that one, you're more than welcome to. Cool. So remember that switch step we did. We're gonna to continue to do that, but this time landing in a warrior two. So you're still welcome to go to that handstand if you'd like to. We'll open to the warrior two, and then we'll continue on through our sequence. Really quick, we will get to, watch me first. We'll get to what I call, what I called the turkey earlier, I showed you. Um, in order to do that, back to this hip opener thing that we did, it's kind of the same concept, but we'll be doing it to the side. So we'll star goddess, star goddess, star goddess, bring it down and then squeeze both feet together, stand at the back, crouch down just to get low. Hands are gonna plant in the middle if you watch me first. We straighten the legs, lift the middle leg up, I'll tell you which leg, and then I just want you to keep these legs as we hop left foot to the back, hop left foot to the front, hop left foot to the back, front, back, front, I meant. So front, back, front. Three times you'll hop, we'll continue. If you can handstand it, it might look like this. You bring it up, but then you still try to move that foot down. Um, if you don't wanna hop at all, we can stay the goddess, we can work the hips, anything that you wanna do. Um, we will end at the front because we're going to turn around and go into it. Make sense? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. You're fine. <laughs> Downward facing dog. So, again, starting with a switch step. So your right leg will go up, but your left foot will land forward in a warrior two. If you want to handstand, by all means, right leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, you fly, warrior two. So left knee stays bent. You gaze down that left hand. And keep the legs, front palm flips, reverse the warrior. And then extend the side angle, last one. A little lower that second time. If you want to get the bind, right around the back, left arm under the thigh, you can. Or any extended side angle that you prefer. We're here for five. Good. Stay low in that left leg. Hold it four. And keep it for three. And two, reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five the wall. From here, it's three leg down dog. Women hands frame the foot and take your front left leg up to the sky behind you and then bend the knee, open the hips, stay or your wild thing. Land the foot left side, lift the hips up, an optional back bend. Good, three leg down dog, drop the left hand, lift the left leg, inhale breath. It's runner's lunge, knee to nose, step it through. To star pose, open right, big stretch. 
And then goddess, bend the knees, sit low. And a few more of those. Inhale, breath, star pose, go up, big stretch. Exhale, bend to go low. Last one, inhale, breath, go up. Good, exhale, breath, go low. Now stay here, you might negotiate the feet, make them about parallel or so. I want you to step your left leg to meet the right, stand at the back of the mat. Feet come together, arms go up to the sky. Start to lift the heels as well. And then big toe stand, slide the back down the wall. How slow can you bring this down? And squeeze the thighs together and hop. Good, we're here for five. Hold the toe stand for four. And for three. And two, hands to the floor. And again, about in the middle of the mat. So it's a little awkward to get there. I want you to lift the hips up. And then lift your left knee. Just hug that left knee to the chest. Focus on the right leg. You're hopping the right foot from the back of the mat to the front. Handstand choice. Or just hop it. And left leg kind of stays in this shape. Ready? Go for uh, left foot, right foot steps to the back. <laughs> and then last one. Your right foot steps to the front. Hold there. From there, can you walk the hands, frame the foot, face the back. Stork pose. Your left knee comes all the way up to the sky. If you got lost, don't worry. We do that multiple times. From the top stair, straighten that left leg. Hold it for five. Hold it for four. And for three. And two, left foot takes about a half step forward. Right toes turn out. Find a bind behind the back, opposite elbows, fist mump, or namaste. Square the hips, lift chest, and help breath. And then exhale, fold. Take the torso about parallel to the floor. And gaze in front of the left big toe. Well, that was a fly in front of my face. That was fun. <laughs> and use the hands here to really peel the shoulders back. We're here for five. Hold it for four. And for three. And two, warrior three, shift forward, start to lift the right leg. Try to keep the arms, but lose them if you need. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. Hold it for three. And two, airplane wings. And to stork pose, your right leg comes up. Stay or straighten the right leg, hold it for five. And for four. And three. And two, right foot takes a small step forward. And then a big step back, left leg runner's lunge. Biceps might frame the head. Stay. And then straighten both legs, maybe airplane wings, or take the hands to floor. Five. And for four. And three. Two, left hand down, right arm up, twisted lunge, into a normal side plank. So that right foot steps back. Option to stay there if you need to. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. Three. And two, drop the right hand, falling in star variation. Your right leg crosses under left leg, pause. And drop the right hip to the floor. And then spin to your left, bring the right leg to meet the left. Forward fold into a pistol squat or shrimp squat. So the first one will take the knees to the chest. Rock and roll hands behind the, thigh, behind the thighs if you need to or not. We use both feet to stand this time. It's just a chair. So I want you to gain momentum. Try not to use the hands. Feet land together. You lift it up chair pose. And if you need to use the hands, by all means. From the chair, airplane wings perch. And then inhale, breath rise, full body stretch. Maybe lift the heels up if you'd like to. And forward fold, take it to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length through spine. And plant hands, step or hop, vinyasa, your choice. So that is our sequence. We're gonna do that on the left and then two more times, run through, and then we're basically done. So again, left leg's gonna go up to the sky. Your right foot lands forward to warrior two. If you can handstand it, by all means, go now. At right foot forward, warrior two. And keep the legs, front palm flips, reverse the warrior. And then your last extended side angle, go low. And again, whatever you took that first time or second time, that is bind, arm forward, your last extended side angle, what do you need it to be? Five. Hold it four. And three. And two, reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five a moment. Into three leg down dog, windmill hands frame the foot, front right leg up to the sky. And bend the knee, open the hips, stay, or your wild thing, land the foot to the left, lift the hips. Three leg down dog, right leg comes up, inhale breath. And then a runner's lunge to step it through. Star pose, open left, big stretch. And goddess, bend the knee, sit it low. And two more of those, inhale breath, go up. Exhale, bring it down. Then last one, inhale up. 
exhale down and parallel that left foot set the right foot to meet the left arms go up and then lift the heels up slide all the way down toe stand take your time and think of this slow motion how slow can you go you're in the toe stand five and four and three two hands to the floor about in the middle so again you might need to walk you might need to adjust You'll lift the hips up, bring your right knee to chest, so we're bouncing on the left leg. Your left foot goes to the top of the mat, hop. And then to the back, hop. And then last one, hop to the front. And keep that right knee lifted, walk the hands towards the foot. Face the back, stork pose, right leg up. Stay straight in that right leg, hold it five. Four, and three, two, half step forward. Left toes turn out. Your bind behind the back, opposite elbows, fist bump, or namaste. Square hips, lift chest, inhale. Exhale, take it parallel to the floor. Belly strong, legs are stronger. Five. Four. And three. Two, or your three, shift forward, start to lift your back left leg, both legs straight and strong, five. Keep it for four. And three. And two, airplane wings, historic pose, left leg up. Stare straight in the left thigh, hold it at five. And four, and three, two, step it at the back, and then right foot takes a big step back, runners, maybe biceps for in the head. And straighten the leg, maybe airplane wings if you'd like to, five. Hands can always go down, four. Three, two, twisted lunge, right hand drops, left arm up. And take it to your side plank, your challenge is that left leg hovering, but do anything you need to, five. And four, and three, and two, drop the hand, left leg kicks under like a falling star. You sit the butt down, swing that left leg to meet the right. Scoot forward a little if you need to. Hands behind thighs, and knees to chest, rock and roll. We come to a chair. So again, the idea is landing the feet as close to the body as you can, hands or not, come to stand. Five, four, and three, and two, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length at the bottom. <laughs> and then vinyasa, plant the hand, step or hop. Cool. So we'll that, do that two more times. A little bit adding on, nothing crazy. Uh, just adding that on at the change. Um, and trying to find more airtime with that jump. So if the jumping didn't make sense to you, the idea is just one knee staying in and you're using left foot to hop. If you can take it to handstand range by all means, but not necessarily my intention, although that is the turkey of the class. When you're ready, downward facing dog, right leg to the sky, but your left foot lands warrior two, go now. Handstand's optional. And from the warrior two, you'll keep the legs, flip the front palm reverse. And then standing half moon, reach forward, 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 use hand or not, lift that right leg. And I'll encourage you to hover that left hand again. It is the turkey burn, work for it. Five. And keep this for four. And for three. And two, bend the knee, warrior two, straight to reverse the warrior. And then three leg down dog, windmill hands frame the foot. Take front left leg up to sky. You'll bend the knee, open the hips, stay or wild thing, it's a choice. Now, two options for this next part. You can go to three legged down dog and then runner's lunge or side plank to runner's lunge. So you'd work that transition if you've got it. Regardless of your choice, Find that left foot forward in a runner's lunge. Go now. And once it lands, take it to star pose, open right. And then goddess, bend the knees just sit low one time. Hold. And maybe sway, find a little bit more in the hips. We step to the back, left foot meets the right, arms go up. Lift the heels, and then slide the body down the heels, to the heels that is. And take your time, no rush. A little bit of a rush. <laughs> cool. When you're ready, hands to floor, about in the middle of the mat. Lift the hips up, bring your left knee, glue that into the chest. And then three hops, right foot hops to the front. Oh. And if you can't handstand it, by all means, hop to the back. Shit. <laughs> and then last one, hop to the front, walk it to the hands, stork pose at the front of your mat, but facing the back, left knee up, stay or straighten that left leg, hold it five, four, and three, and two, half step forward, 
the right foot out, find the interlace grip, not the interlace, but if you want interlace, that's the next choice, but find your bind. <laughs> Lift the chest, inhale breath, and then hinge the hips, take it down halfway. When you're ready, we can just go warrior three. Shift forward, lift that right leg. Try to keep the arms. Hold it for five. Hold it for four. And for three. And two, airplane wings, arms back. To stork pose, right leg comes up. Stay or straighten the right leg. Five, four, and three. Two, right foot steps forward. Left foot a big step back. Runners, maybe biceps or in the head. Good. To airplane wings, straight leg or not. And then twisted lunge, left hand plant. Right arm goes high, take this to your side plank right away. So working in that transition, we're working with movement. We're here for five, four, and three, two, drop the hand, right leg kicks under, drop the hips, face the front, right knee to chest. So right knee to chest, left leg straight. We're going for a pistol squat. If you want to stand chair pose, then stork by all means. Hands can come next to the hips. If you need to watch me, you can, but we're coming, rocking back and forth. Hands can be here, so I land the foot, use the hands to lift and take this to stork. You want this left leg as strong as you can, go now. I'll meet you at stork in five. Stork for four, oh. ow, three, and two, mountain pose, heels to the touch. If you got a cramp, so did I. From the mountain, inhale, breath, arms up. And forward fold, exhale, take it down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length. And plant hands, vinyasa, your choice. And hitting that second side. So again, we start with the left leg up, but your right foot lands warrior two, go now. So switch step. If you want a handstand, your choice. <sighs> right foot is in that warrior two. When you land, right foot forward that is. When you land, <laughs> reverse the warrior. And then standing half moon, reach forward, 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 use the hand or not, lift that left leg. Hold it for five. Hold it for four. And keep with me, three. Two, bend the knee, land the foot, take it straight to reverse the warrior, right arm up, inhale. And then three leg down dog, when the hands frame the foot, front right leg up to the sky. To bend the knee, open the hips, stay, or that wild thing, land it to the left, lift the hips. And again, from your, your choice, three leg down dog or the side plank, finding that right foot forward and runner's lunge, go. When that right foot is forward, it's star pose, open left, big stretch. And then goddess, bend the knees, just sit, hold. And take this to the back of the right foot, steps to left, arms go up. You'll lift the heels and then toe stand, slowly bring it down. And take your time. When you're ready, we got three hops. So hands plant about in the middle. You'll lift the hips up, bring this right knee into chest, the right foot lifts. And then three hops. Focus on strength and straight arms as much as you can. We hop to the front. Left foot hops to the back. And then last one. Hop it to the front, but face the back. Ring it up. Stork pose. Right knee up. Stay or straighten. Hold it five. And four. And three. And two. Half step forward. That bind behind the back. What do you need? Square hips. Lift chest. Inhale. And then exhale. Fold to get parallel-ish. Warrior three, shift forward, start to lift that left leg. Holy five, four, and three, and two, airplane wings. Stork pose, left leg comes up. Stay straight in the left leg, hold it for five, and four, and three, two, left foot forward, right foot takes a big step back, biceps. Airplane wings, maybe straighten the leg. And to twisted lunge, to side plank, right hand down, take it to that side plank, left foot steps back. Five, and four, and three, two, drop the hand, left leg kicks under to have a seat. Your left knee will bend as you face the forward, shift forward if you need to, and then three rocks to that standing split, not standing split, three rocks to pistol squat. Stand up, we'll meet you in stork pose, you're there in five. Stork pose for four, and three, and two, mountain pose, heels, toes, touch, hands, heart. Gorgeous, inhale, arms to the sky. Forward fold, take it down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length. And plant hands, step or hop, vinyasa. Cool, 
So we've got that one more time. About one breath, one movement. We are running out of time. Um, you'll be fine. I might not be, but you know, we'll be okay. That was a joke. One breath, breath per movement. Everything you've done, it's all the same. Starting off right leg up, but your left foot lands in that warrior two. Go now. Shwa. So left foot is in the warrior two. From there, you'll flip the palm, palm, reverse the warrior. And then standing half moon or chapasana. Chapasana, you bend the right knee. Reach back right hand, grab the foot, kick strong. Whatever option, we're here for five. Mm. And the right, left hand can be on the floor or forward if you'd like for chapasana for three. Oh shit. <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. Here for two. And slowly it's warrior two. Bend the knees, take it straight to reverse the warrior. And then three leg down dog, windmill hands, frame the foot. Your front left leg up to sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, stay or flip it over. Your choice, take your time. Three legged down dog or side plank. And the slower you can drop that left foot to the top of the mat, the cooler you are. So left foot steps forward into the star pose, open to the right. Goddess, bend the knee, sit low. Good, left foot steps at the back of the mat, arms go up, lift the heels, slide it down. Last three hops on this side, we plant the hands in the middle, lift the hips up, left knee stays glued to chest. When you're ready, right foot hops to the front. Oh shit, hops to the back. And this is awkward, I hope you know that, hop to the front. <laughs> Let's turn to the back. The stork pose, left leg comes up. It's not exactly how I wanted it to go, but it's fine. <laughs> Straighten the left leg, hold it. Five, four, and three, two, half step forward. This time, can you interlace the grip? Take the right thumb on top. Chase forward, lift chest, inhale, breath. And then exhale, fold, bring it parallel a moment. Warrior three. Shift forward, lift that right leg, try to lift the hands away from the butt. Five, four. And three, two, stork pose, right knee up, arms high. Stare straight in any moment. Step it forward, left foot takes a big step back to runners, biceps from the head. Airplane wing straight in the front leg. Into the side plank, left hand down, right arm up, side plank. Five, four, and three, two, drop the hand, right leg kicks under, you have a seat. And face the front. Right knee comes in. Left leg stays straight. Three rock and rolls. Try no hands. Into that pistol squat stork pose. I'll meet you there. Five. And four. Yeah, there's my cramp. Three. <laughs> and two. Mountain pose. Heels toes touch. Hands heart. Inhale, arms to sky. And forward fold. Exhale, release it down. Good. Inhale, halfway lift by length. Plant hands, vinyasa step, or hop. One more. You've got this. You've made it this far. Don't doubt yourself. It's super easy compared to everything else that you've done. Let's get her done. Left leg goes up. Your right foot lands in a warrior two. Go now. Left foot up. Right foot forward in that warrior two. When you arrive, you'll flip the front palm, reverse that warrior. And then standing half moon or chapasana. So reach forward, forward, forward. Use the hand or not. Again, for Chapasana, your left knee would bend. Left hand reaches back for the pinky toe side of the foot of the ankle. You kick it strong. Right hand is on the floor. I like my right hand on the shin, or right arm can go forward. Five, four, and three, and two. It's a warrior two. Bend the knee, land the foot. To reverse the warrior, lift that right arm up to the sky. And then three leg down dog. Windmill hands frame the foot. Take front right leg up to the sky. And bend the knee, open the hip, stay, or wild thing. Whew. Almost there. And then again, from here, it's your choice. So we go three-legged down dog or side plank your way to runner's lunge, right foot steps to the top. From there, it's star pose, open left. God is to bend the knee, sit it low. Find your way to the back, right foot steps to the back, arms go up. Lift the heels, slide it down. Last set to hop. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just ask that you try. We plant the hands about in the middle. Lift the chest. Right knee stays in chest. Your left foot's going to hop to the front. It's going to hop to the back. And then last one, hop to the front, but face the back. 
Walk the hands in, right knee up to the sky, stork pose. Stare straight in the right leg, hold it. Five, four, three, two, half step forward. Find the interlace grip behind the back, left thumb on top this time. And chase lower, lift chest, inhale, breath. And then exhale, bring it down parallel, just a moment. When you're ready, warrior three, shift forward, lift the left leg. Hold it, five, four, and three, and two, stork pose, left knee comes to sky, stay or straighten, just a moment. Left foot steps forward, right foot big step back, runners, biceps from the head. Airplane wings to straighten the left leg. And then drop the hand, twist, lunge to the side plank, last side plank of class. That's a lie, actually. It's not the last side plank. Spoiler alert. Here for five, four, and three, two to the falling star variation. Left hand drops, left leg kicks under. You drop the hips, spin to the front. Left knee will bend. Scoot forward if you need to. Your last effort out of pistol squat. Rock and roll three times when you're ready. That stork pose in five. Stork pose in four. In three. In two. Heels to this touch. Hands heart. Stay there. Pause a moment. And breathe. So most of the hard work is over. Of course, we've got some extra credit. It's going to be a long extra credit. We're going for this whole song. Do not doubt yourself. You've done extra credit with me so often. You might be a little bit more tired today, but I guarantee you that you've got this. Let's do it. On the inhale breath, take the arms up to the sky, big stretch. And then forward fold, exhale, bring it all the way down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find length of the spine. High plank, plant the hands, step both feet back. If you need to go to the forearms, you can, but try to stay the high plank. Feet about hip width distance, hand shoulder distance. We're here. We gotta wait till the music starts. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I hope you heard. I don't know if you heard that horror bell. I hope no one's here. I'm not gonna answer the phone. <laughs> We're here for ten. Good. You're still on the high plank for nine. And for eight. And for seven. And six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Drop both heels to the right. You will lift the left arm side plank now. Option stay here if you need to modify, cool. If you'd like the challenge, I just want you to bend the right knee, hover that foot, so you're like in a plank, but just your left leg is holding you. 10, nine, for eight, for seven, and for six, and for five, four, three, and two, drop the left hand high plank, 10, for nine, for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Heels go to the left. You lift that right arm. And again, normal side plank. If you need to modify, cool. If you want the challenge, we bend the left knee just so you can hover it off the floor. Five, the foot that is uh, the nine. For eight, seven, six, five, four. And three, and two, drop the right hand high plank from here. Can you drop the left forearm down, right forearm down, left hand, right hand, left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand, left forearm, right forearm, stay here. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Walk it in dolphin pose. Ten for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four. Listen close. Three, two. Drop the knees. Have a seat. This is your break. The only break you'll get. Lean back, tend the fingertips, lift the chest. You might choose to shake it out as well. We go for the final bit of effort. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure how long is left in the song. I think it's about one or two minutes. It's just going to be plank and dolphin to finish. I want you to think of literally anything but the pain in your shoulders. You're stronger than you think you are. You don't need to overthink it. You just need to do this and then we cool it down. 
When you're ready, let's get to it. Drop the forearm, step it back, plank 10. 9, 8, 7, for 6, for 5, for 4, and 3, and 2, walk it in that dolphin pose, 10. If you want to go to headstand, an option as well, 9, for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, walk it back to plank, option to hover that right foot, pulse 10, 9, for 8, for 7, for 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch sides, don't overthink it, 9, 8, I know, that's the turkey burn, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, drop the feet, walk it in, final dolphin, 10, 9, you're better, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, drop, whoo, baby, made it most of it pretty much downhill from here take some time shake it out walk it out grab some water if you need to if your throat is dry um groundbreaking discovery we're going to have to do next so when you are ready find your way to that half pigeon roll with the right leg forward so right leg is going to go forward half pigeon Whew. You ain't my boyfriend. I ain't your girlfriend. I'm not going to sing. I shouldn't be singing. I I would sing. Honestly, I would sing more often, but I don't think that my music is necessarily lined up with yours. So although my singing voice is flawless and like wonderful, um, I think it would annoy you more if I was singing and I, my words weren't lining up with yours. So like that's my gift to you. You're welcome. Maybe we'll do a sing-along class. That's never going to happen. Don't even get excited for that. I will literally never do it. Uh, <laughs> um, I can play a bunch of bangers, but I'm not going to do sing-along because I don't want to sing. Um, but maybe, like, we did have a teacher that wanted to do, like, all the classes he wanted to teach were, like, he wanted to play Disney music. And he had to be told that, you know, adults don't really want to listen to that all the time. So he was sad. And then he teaches kids yoga now. Go figure. Find a variation if you need one, twist or back bend. We haven't really done much of either. Um, my goal was to do a main portion of the twisting and the back bending here in this cool down um, because I know two things that aren't like my favorite thing. I like twisting that back bending. Cool. And then from here, I want you to come back to the hands. We've visited this shape many times. It's a falling star, but not a falling star. So plant the hands. Tuck left toes, lift the knee, shoot your right leg out, and then drop the hip down, keep the hands here. Left heel will find the floor. Uh, stay here on the ha hands, or if you wanna go to forearms, you're more than welcome to. Um, you're now realizing, well, I don't really drink water in class. Um, I get the hiccups all the time. And even, you've probably seen, um, if you've taken my class in person, um, I typically will drink a lot of water and always get the hiccups, it always happens. But only ever two or three, never more than that. Fun fact that you just didn't need to know. Um, but we're here. So we're in this kind of sphinx pose shape. We're in a kind of falling star shape. The idea is keeping the legs as strong as you can. Pull the elbows towards you. Find length through the spine. Your IT band might be screaming at you, and that's why we're here. And if it's not, like, good for you. We're here for five. Good for. For three. Two, legs will stay as they are. I'll walk the hands back up, spin to left, come to sit. I want you to bring your right leg to, or the right foot to left inner thigh. Um, take the arms up to the sky, square the shoulders to left leg, exhale, fold for it, just a moment. Good, and slowly bring it up, rise. We're gonna take this to a lateral stretch. So your left hand is gonna find the right knee. 
Right hand starts behind the head. Open the right shoulder towards the front of your mat, but then lean over towards the back. Right hand can stay behind the head for more support, or if you want to start to reach that right hand towards the left foot, uh, you're more than welcome to. But notice if your right shoulder is kind of falling down, you're facing the floor more than the side. I want you to try to open the right shoulder as much to the sky as you can. We're here for five. I'll hold it for four. Get it, three. Two, slowly bring it up. Right hand plants at the top on the mat. Left leg or right leg can go forward, falling start a moment, but then just drop the hand, step it back, a downward facing dog. If you want a vinyasa like you can, your choice. When you're ready, that left leg will find a half pigeon, left knee towards left wrist, ankle towards the right. Turn me down, turn me down. So I said I wasn't gonna, I really like this song. Um, this song is coming on the next playlist that I know I've been lagging on, um, but I just haven't been super inspired with the songs I found. Um, I have, I've discovered, not discovered, I need this. Um, the longer I've been teaching, the harder it is to find songs that I wanna play in my class because um, I'm picky and I overthink everything. So um, I'm working on it. I know I haven't placed new music in a while, but like when it comes, it'll be worth the wait. We'll just say that. This song is on it though. This is for sure gonna be the number one um, this is the Half Pigeon song, so I've already decided it. I decided it right now, though I did it before, um, <laughs> but um, it's going to be the Half Pigeon song because this is great, and honestly, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan, but this song and Holy have made me one, not made me one. Yeah, I just feel like he's singing about, like, I'm sorry for the shitty past that I, I was because that's why I don't like him because he was a fuckhead a few years ago, excuse my language, um, but, you know, we all make mistakes. That's literally what this song is about. Um, so like Justin Bieber, if you're listening, if you're taking my class for some odd forsaken reason, like I forgive you, just know that. <laughs> uh, not like you would ever take this, but you know, maybe one day in the future, I'll be yoga teacher to the stars or just Justin Bieber. I'll take either. And find the variation if you need one twist or back bend. Also a Miley Cyrus fan, which <laughs> fun fact, cause she also has a very troubling past, but um, I really like her music for some reason. Not all of it, but the recent ones like Midnight Sky supposedly on the next place as well. Um, find that variation that I showed you. So come back to the hands, tuck the right knee, lift the right knee, and then slide that left leg out to the right, but then drop the hip down to the floor. Stand the hands or go down to the forearms, you choose. Um, yeah, I love Midnight Sky. I'm gonna say it, it's a great song. Um, I never thought I would be a Miley Cyrus fan, especially after the on all the whole like VMAs fiasco, but here we are. I appreciate her. And I like this song too. It's a sad song though. And so this next portion, again, is going to be towards the back. I'm going to towards, show it to the front just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, and I just don't have my back towards you. So from here, legs are going to stay. You're just going to turn to the right, come to sit, and then take that left foot onto the right inner thigh. So again, you're facing the same way I just turned. Left foot is on the right inner thigh. Go for this, uh, the fold first. So arms to sky, square shoulders to right leg, exhale, fold for it. Good, and slowly bring it up. Find the lateral stretch so your right hand finds the left knee. Left hand comes behind the head to start, and then you'll lean over towards that right leg to stay, or start to reach that arm extended, go for that side body stretch. Ta, 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 five. <laughs> Four, open the chest to sky, not the floor. Four, and three, and two, strong, inhale, bring it up. And then that Left hand is gonna plant at the front, a falling star, or just step it back, a downward facing dog. And from the down dog, you'll drop the knees to the floor, tabletop, facing the front if you're not already, and taking this into the melting heart, so hips stay where they are. You just start to walk the hands forward into your melting heart. So hands can stay, forehead can rest on the floor is option one. Chin goes to the floor, option two. Chest is on the floor, option three. Now this one, you could be 
really good at because we've worked into the shoulders, but also really bad at it because it's a back bend and we haven't really done any of those. So just try to be here. I'm focusing on the breath, try to elongate it. Try to bring yourself back to that same mindset you had at the beginning of the class. I know towards the end, we kind of just kind of not give up, but we're tired and we're over it. But try to keep consistent. Try to imagine this is the first bit of class. Have that same integrity. We have uh, five, ten. I'm going to count for five, but hold it for ten. Just so you were all aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, five. I think I over explain a lot of things when I teach, but I think it helps the people. Because I know a lot of you think that I overexplain, which I totally do, um, but it's mainly for the people that are lost because I know my class is confusing as shit sometimes. Um, and even me overexplaining probably isn't as overexplaining as I think it is three. I just try to be as clear as I can. If that means I'm going to explain it multiple times, then by all means, I'll explain it until you get it. That's kind of guy I am, too. Good. When you're ready, shift forward, slide onto the belly. You can stack the palms or the fists, rest the forehead or the chin on the hands. Stay there or bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs. Continuing to finish up with the shoulders, and then we'll finish up all together. Good. Legs find the floor. Take the arms out wide like an uppercase letter T, um, and then bring the right hand next to the rib cage. So bend the right elbow. Bend your right knee, shoulder stretch over to the right. And that foot lands behind the leg somewhere. Right hand can stay or go around the back as well. Yeah, it will switch sides, right hand plants. Slowly lower it down, right arm extends, left hand comes in, bend the left knee up and over, second side. And the left hand stays or goes around the low back. Good. Left hand next to the rib cage. Both hands next to ribs, child's pose. Big toes touch, knees can widen or stay together. Sit it back just for a moment. Your next inhale breath takes you tabletop into the downward facing dog. Last down dog, it's a short one, I promise. We're finding the seated position, step, hop, float, crawl, cry, any way that you need to find a seat at the top of the mat. Cool. From the seated position, we'll find a coddler pose, so soles and feet come together. Um, Definitely sit at the top of the mat because we're going to go down directly into this. So grab your yogi toe lock, index and middle fingers around the big toes. Use the grip to lift the chest up. And then that same grip, start to pull it forward. Elbows can press into the thighs as well if you like. And your forehead can always round down or just stay straight ahead if you choose. Now, in my mind, this next part is going to work out. I've actually never taught it, but it's what I want to do. Um, so I've taught the first portion, but not the second. So start to sit up, lean back, keep hold of the feet, uh, lift them away from the floor. So this is the part portion that I've done. Um, you might wiggle around if your tailbone is kind of under you like mine is. Um, and then stay here in this baby boat or go for boat pose and straighten the legs. You can always take the hands behind the thighs if that's better or lose the yogi toe grip just in general. If you've got the toe locked, maybe even spread the legs out wide. This is where it's going to get a little fun. I want you to take this to a happy baby. Um, so you'll bend the knees and then just roll on your back. <laughs> it worked out. Cool. <laughs> it worked for me. I get really excited. That's the most excited I've been on class. <laughs> I don't know why I've never done it like that way, but like I, that was amazing. And I'm going to teach that like probably in the next 20 classes that you take from me. So just be ready for it. <laughs> Stay here, happy baby, sway out, side to side, straighten the legs, you choose. Yeah, and then you release the legs, send them up to the sky, big stretch. Grab the straight legs, start to pull them to the chest, supine forward. 
low back. And then bend the knees, right knee stays to the chest, left leg goes forward when you're moving pose. Hug knee out to the shoulder, in towards the rib cage. Try to find contact. Hug that knee in as much as you can. And the supine twist. Right arm extends, use the left hand and guide it over to the right. And you can go left, don't go left. I mean, you can't go left, but typically we look to the right. You look wherever you want to look, baby. You might even close the eyes. That's what I like to do. And slowly bring the knee back center. Both knees to chest, gentle squeeze. And then keep the left leg, right leg goes forward when you're moving pose. You're going to hug it in, 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 in. Super my twist. Left arm extends. Use the right hand, got it over. And so living that back center. Both knees to chest, final time. And from here, it's your choice, your practice. This is the end. We can go back to the happy baby if you'd like to. You can find the plow pose, shoulder stand, anything last here in these final moments. Again, we haven't done too much back bend, so if you want a bridge or a wheel, another great choice. Anything in these last few final moments that's going to make your body comfortable. If your body needs that last bit of effort to figure itself out. When you're ready, you can bring the feet to the floor, knees to sky, half shavasana. Soles of you together, knees go wide, soup the baddha konasana. Or legs go forward, arms along the sides, your final shavasana. Time is yours. Enjoy it. And as per usual, if you are listening with me on Spotify, this song is just about to end. It literally ended as I said that. Um, next song is coming. Next song is long. It's about six minutes. I encourage you to stay throughout the entire six minutes. This was a longer practice, so a little bit of extra love laying here is recommended, but stay as little or as long as you'd like. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you're being safe with your holiday. Um, and of course, if you need me at any time, feel free to reach out. With that being said, once again, my name is Bobby. Thank you so much for joining me with this long-ass class and from the very, very bottom of my heart. Namaste.